guys. <laughs> I've been turning on all my cameras before I got on there with y'all. Um, today, I hope y'all are all doing okay. It's still cold here in Louisiana um, and gloomy, just a gloomy day. It looks like it's getting nighttime all day long. Y'all know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but I have pooped. I have been running up, down, up, down, up, down my staircase, up to my attic, getting out Christmas trees and Christmas boxes and boxes of ornaments and all those kind of good good things and um i am tired <laughs> but um i do it while i can i won't be able to do that forever we all know that don't we um and i do it because jesus did a whole lot more for me than me just scurrying up down the staircase celebrating his birthday so i'm gonna do it as long as i can do it um but anyway i want to put something together easy for us because the next couple of days that's all I'm going to be doing is um, unpacking all these boxes and decorating trees and putting out Christmas stuff and, and uh, making the house joyful. Y'all know how we do it. Yeah, we do. And um, so anyway, I probably won't be on here this weekend because I'm going to be busy doing that the rest of the week and this weekend. And then if I can, weather permitting, I'm going to get outside and do some lights and stuff. So um, I thought I'd make a big big old pot of vegetable beef soup and I know that we all know how to do this but we all love to visit with one another and um so I just said well I'll just hop on here and talk to y'all I will I will I've got to get this done I have first time I went up my staircase first few times I was I was scurrying you know yay I'm getting out on my Christmas I know a lot of y'all have already gotten out Christmas I don't until after Thanksgiving because everybody comes here and I just, I have all my pumpkins out and I kind of just stay Thanksgiving-y, you know, and then I'll change it up afterward this week and pack up all my pumpkins and all that good stuff. So, um, I'm going to make this soup and we can eat on it, uh, another day this weekend. We can eat it for lunch some this weekend and I'm just going to be decorating, decorating, decorating. So, I want to let y'all know, if y'all don't see me for the weekend, never fear, no worries, I'll be back, I promise. I've just got to get all festive in the house. So I'm going to start with, this is about two, two and a half pounds of some ground chuck. And um, I'm making a big old batch, because y'all know I like to freeze some. And I can share some with my mom and daddy, or John's mom and daddy. So I'm going to make a big old batch. Why not? Why not? There we go. I'm going to get this brownie. Let me wash my hands since I was touching that raw meat container. Washy, washy, washy. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I'm going to get this brownie. I am not going to chop an onion. I'm just going to put in some frozen seasoning blend. It's got onions and bell peppers and parsley and celery in it. So... That'll be quick, quick, fast. And I've got some pre-chopped garlic I'm going to put in there. I'm going to chop these potatoes that I've been peeling. And um, that's the only thing that I didn't already have, well, besides these pans. I'm using a lot of frozen things from Sunday night suppers. We had this corn was left over from Thanksgiving. Well, I put it in here and said, oh, yeah, vegetable soup. These are some lima beans that I cooked one night for Sunday night supper with all my kids and grandkids, and we had a good bit left over, so I said, go in the veggie soup. And this is a package of some peas and carrots that I'll put in some uh, noodles and make me a little Asian little soup for lunch sometimes. And um, just out of that, pa the package is a ramen noodles, okay? Nothing fancy. And uh, so anyway, y'all see what I'm going to do and put all this together, but I'm going to get these peeled and get my hamburger meat browned and I'm going to do the seasoning blend and after I brown it if I need to drain any grease I will then I'll put my seasoning blend and let that soften so I will be back guys And I'm back, and I've got my hamburger meat brown. I sprinkled a little salt in there, maybe about a half teaspoon of salt, and some fresh ground pepper. You do that however you want to do it, okay? And I'm going to use pre-chopped garlic in here because it's so easy. And why not? We're pooped and tired. I just got to go feed baby cow, too. I'm going to put about two teaspoons. 
about two teaspoons in there. And let me grab my scissors. And I've got two bags of this seasoning blend that I was telling y'all about that's frozen so we don't have to chop any of our onions or bell pepper. Like I say, normally I would just chop an onion and put in here, but since I had these, I thought, why not? Be just a little extra flavor, won't it? Won't hurt a thing in the world, will it? No, no, no. And y'all don't have any hominy. I love hominy in vegetable soup. John Murray does not, but I usually heat me some up on the side and put over in there, but don't have any. And it makes me sad, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll make it. I'll survive. Okay, y'all, I'm going to put this back on the fire. I did have to drain a little grease off of it, a little fat. And I'm going to put it back on the fire and soften all my um, veggies in here. And I also sprinkled a little crushed red pepper, okay? Just because John and I like it. It doesn't make it hot. It just gives it some flavor. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. So, let's see. That's all I'm going to put in here right now. I'm going to put my parsley. I'm going to sprinkle a little more parsley. It's where I get something nutritional into John's body and he won't even notice, huh? <laughs> That's good stuff. Okay, guys. Put this back and let this soften. And then I will be right back with y'all. Okay, guys, I've got my potato chopped up, and because everything else is already done, so basically this soup will be done, um, and these potatoes are not, they're still raw, I want to let them get done, and so I'm going to go kind of pre-cook them just a little bit in the microwave and let them kind of get tender. They don't have to get done all the way because they'll finish cooking in the soup, but everything else, like I say, is done done, so I'm going to go do that maybe a minute or two, two minutes, just till they're kind of tender. And um, then our, our veggies will be soft in here. We can put this soup together. I'm letting them go about five minutes, five, six minutes, and they'll be soft. Okay, y'all, I have got our hamburger meat done with all those veggie blends softened. I let them soften. For about five minutes, um, I let them go, and meanwhile, I was heating up these potatoes in the uh, microwave for about three minutes, and they're just, like, just done, kind of got them tender, so they can kind of catch up with everybody, right? <laughs> yeah. And they're the only thing, like I say, that's not been seasoned at all, so I'm going to sprinkle some salt on them, okay, because I don't want them to take away and, and make the dish not, not seasony enough, not salty enough. So I did salt and pepper. All right, some things that I put in here. Like I say, this is left over from a Sunday supper and it's still frozen. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put this in here. This is lima beans, plop, 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 right there. And then, like I said, I had some frozen peas and carrots, just a little bit left. And I'm gonna sprinkle those in there. They'll be good in our our dish, our soup, huh? And this corn is left over from Thanksgiving, but I did freeze it. Um, just so it stay good and fresh, and I'm gonna dump it in here. It's still, it's still kind of frozen. <laughs> so yeah, anytime you have a big bulk of something left over and it's not enough to, or it's too much to throw away is what I call it, then I'm like, hey, that can go in soup, yeah. So that's what I do. Y'all, I've got this left over. It's still right frozen. This is some um, purple hull peas out of our fresh purple hull peas out of the garden. So I sure didn't throw those away. You see, they're still frozen. <laughs> is this pot going to be big enough, y'all? I know. I cook too big, don't I? Too big for what? I don't know, but I do. All right, guys. Some of the things. Oh, these are from my garden that I've jarred and canned before was uh, green beans. Mm -hmm. I'll just eat these right out of the jar. Yes, I will. Now I'm going to put that in there. Some green beans. These were called rattlesnake snap beans. And I quit growing them when I went out there to pick one evening and there was a rattlesnake in there. I was like, well, hence the name, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Well, puppy dogs are getting excited about our soup, aren't they? 
And I've got me a big, I think this is a 28 ounce can, isn't it, y'all? Isn't it? Yeah. 28 ounce of diced tomatoes, and these are petite diced, but whatever you want to put in there. I put that in there. Gonna be good, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I've got one can of beef broth, and this is a smaller can, and I may end up adding two cans of beef broth, and I wouldn't be surprised if I do, because this, you see the difference. I don't know what, y'all know what can that is. I'm gonna pour that in there and get the rest of those diced tomatoes out of there. Yeah, and now this does have that 50% less sodium in it, okay? Okay. Let's see, and we love pinto beans in there, so I am going to put one can of pintos. Just pinto beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there you have it. I'm going to put this on the stove on low, y'all see, and I'm going to cover it and let everything get good and heated. And y'all see what kind of soup we're going to have? I'll be able to share it with all kinds of people, won't I? <laughs> I'll be back, y'all. Let y'all see how it looks. Here it is, guys. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> y'all see what a big old pan? I taste tested it, too, and it's very, very flavorful. So, here we are. <laughs> y'all enjoy.